Hey y'all, um, Wolverine here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you some Fortnite creative highlights and some quick updates. I know I haven't posted in a while, and I'm really sorry about that, I was, I've been really busy with school and that stuff, but I'm going to uh, try to post um, a lot more often. Alright, let's get into the video. Alright, so this part was inspired by Denver Cues. I honestly don't know how to say that, I will link the channel in the description, but here I'm going to show you how to make a working ball and a working boss. So. First, what you want to do is make sure you have an indestructible floor. That can be found in the indestructible gallery if you just look that up. And you'll need a sentry. So, copy these settings. Uh, weapon type, I'm going to leave mine a rocket launcher. Health, you can leave that to whatever you want. Respawn time, never respawn. Range, 30 meters. Um, make sure it ideally like, covers the entire vault. I'm just going to put mine in 30 meters. Yeah, there we go. All right. Sorry about that. So accuracy, I'm gonna put that to high. Um, target style, line of sight, because it's a boss. Um, friendly team, none. Spawn on game start, yes. Uh, spawn one receiving from no channel. And when eliminated, transmit on channel one. All right, now let's get into our item spawners and all that, and our weapons. So for many, uh, for the key card, I've seen many people um, using a jewel, so you can use that. And here's what you'll you need for the settings. Items respawn on, random spawns off, visible during this game's off, um, time before first spawn never, time between spawns never, um, enable that game start, yes, spawn one receiving from channel one, and that will be um, the same channel that our sentry will transmit on when eliminated. And just so you know, like, um, a helpful tip is like, when I was um, doing this, I said like spawn when receiving from and when eliminate transmit on the same channel. So that will cause it to basically indefinitely respawn. So yeah, that was um, uh, not really a bug, it was just my error. So yeah, so make sure you have. And yeah. Alright, so let's move on to our scanner. You can use like a computer scanner like in game. You can search that up in the shark prop gallery, but for this tutorial, I'm not going to use it. But you'll only need a conditional button as like your scanner, if you would. Copy these settings. Can be used by all. Uh, color, I'll just leave that as white. Interaction text, you can do it as a scan keycard. I'm just going to leave mine to interact. Display my icon, locked. Alt display icon, unlocked. Display, disable after use, yes. Um, key items required, one. Enable the game start, yes. Visible learn games, sure, we can leave that on. Um, when activated, transmit on channel 2. And make sure you drop a jewel in so that it will know that it needs to um, have a jewel. Alright, so let's go on to our explosive device. This will actually open up our uh, closed vault door. So health 1, blast radius 0.25, uh, player damage 0, damage in destructible buildings, I'm just going to put that as yes. Structure damage 5,000, knockback off, blast line of sight, no. Play audio VFX, no. Range visualization, explosion radius. This is like only in the editing phase of your island, so I just like to use that so I can know where like um it's gonna explode. Visible during game, no. Collision during games on, collides with everything. Show health bar, no. Um, explode when receiving from channel two. Yeah. Also, keep in mind, um, you want to have, like, your, um, world on, uh, what's it called? Environmental damage to player built only, so that won't make, um, people to, won't, that won't give people the ability to, um, destroy the vault door. And the reason why I say this is, you're gonna need, um, uh, a, a closed, destructible vault door, otherwise this won't work, because it won't work on, um, uh, on an indestructible closed vault door. Now you can use um, uh, an open vault door. Just make sure the the like explosive dice doesn't explode that. But for this tutorial, I'm not gonna use it. And for my vault, um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna use it as a, a one by one by two, meaning like this. So a total of two cubic units as a vault. I know it's a small vault, but it'll do for this tutorial. So yeah, let's start the game and test it out. Also, you noticed that I didn't add chests there. I will add chests when I complete my island. And 
case you're wondering, my island is like a spooky thing. What? That didn't hit? Alright, I guess we're gonna So as you can see, we got our stuff. There we go, it opens. So yeah, as you can see, I also got these um, item spawners. And what's cool about these item spawners is that like, um, you can basically do this. It'll basically change the item on a, on a damage. So I'll teach you how to do that in the next part. Thank you. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to uh, make this uh, item spawner like, I, or, like earlier I showed. So what you wanna do is you're gonna need a trigger on one channel and an item spawner on another channel and some more than one item. Alright, so here are the trigger settings. Trigger by player off, trigger by damage on, and if I don't say a setting that means you ideally shouldn't change it. Um, yeah, trigger by damage on, trigger by vehicles off, trigger by items off, um, transmit every X triggers one, times can trigger infinite. Um, trigger sound, you can put that enabled. Trigger VFX, you can also put that enabled if you want. Visible during game, no. Take damage when invisible, yes. We want to take damage. Enable when game start, yes. And when triggered, transmit on channel 4. Now here are our item spawner settings. Items to respawn on. Uh, visible during games, off. Times for first spawn, instant. Time between spawns, instant. Um... Enable one receiving from channel 4, cycle to next item one receiving from channel 4, and one picked up transmit on channel 4. So that's how you make um, uh, an item spawner just like I did. Um, so for the Diamond Hans outfit, um, here are the good combos. Here's Ruckus. And lastly, here's fish stick. Um, try to go with like watery, like aqua themed, um, like stuff for fish stick if you would, if you wanted like the best combos. So yeah. And just to to let you know, there's like been a small uh, minor update. I don't know if like people many people notice it, but previously like it used to be like in bars, like the stats of a weapon. Now they also display like the, like um the what's it called the numbers and uh, so that it's much easier to compare so yeah and another like change like that if you didn't know fishing rods are finally in creative this is actually like um a pretty neat um idea i think that this could have been added a lot earlier but eh, it is what it is like i like the, the good thing about this is that you can just like fish your like teammates or enemies and then Basically, take them out easily, if you, if um, in my opinion. And there are also actually more changes to um, the Fortnite Creative. So let's see them right now. So if you if you go here, um, you see that we got um, more bows like pri like the mechanical shockwave bow, the primal stink bow. We got more like we um, season six weapon themes, um, well, or season six themed weapons, I should say, in this, in creative. Um, I believe the dual pistols are unvaulted. I haven't seen them yet, but I will let you know if I see them. Um. So yeah, consumables. We got um, crash pads finally, and they're also as a device. They can be set down as a device. Um, we got crash pads. And we actually got the Midas Flopper, finally. We unfortunately don't have the Vendetta Flopper, but hopefully we get that soon. So yeah, we got fishing rods and all that. And we actually got uh, key cards, like, um, for the vault. So basically, we don't have to, like, worry about using a jewel. I mean, if you want to use jewel, that's fine. It's just, um, I just am not gonna, like... I mean, if you want, you can use whatever you want, my bad. So, yeah... And also, like, we got, um, some crafting materials, like, for other, um, weapons, like, the primal and, um, uh, yeah, those types of weapons we got, so, yeah. And we also got save point, I believe this was, um, 
re recently added back into the game. If you really were living under a rock or don't know what has what has updated, we got boats finally in creative, helicopter spawners, and basically all the cars. Um, yeah, we got fishing rods. So yeah, I personally think that Fortnite Creative is really like coming to like um kind of like the game to actual like battle royale and like really updating a lot. And this one, the fishing zone, that basically like um like sets like a zone where you can fish. I yeah. So if you found like any other changes in Fortnite Creative or just in the game general. Uh, just, yeah, let me know in the comments. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how the, um, Gain's back bling is secretly reactive. Um, I know this is already done before, but in case you didn't know, um, it is reactive. So, let's check it out. catch it so basically the arrow basically pulsed um and yeah it made a sound like a stock going up the wood. there it is again Dang, these bots are good. Or maybe I'm bad. Nah, I'm not bad. <laughs> bad. Let's just heal up. So in case you re uh, don't know, there's um, a new quote-unquote boss. It's not really a boss at the moment, but it's more of an NPC, but it can turn into a boss if you basically steal the assault rifle. Her name is Aurelia. I heard that she might have uh, some secret dialogue with Oro. I'm not really sure with, about that, or maybe Midas, um, Midas or Jules, something like that. I don't know. Um, all right. And there she is. She already had after I took her to the Dang! Alright, we're gonna go fire again. If you had to have one thing in Fortnite Creed, like, I, in, like an exotic weapon, or a chug cannon, like, anything, like, what would you add? Let me know in the comments. Let's go take our revenge on Aurelia. <laughs> Alright, Aurelia. Thought you could get away with that? Think again. I wonder if her health resets after... Okay, there we go. We just took her out. So... Looks like um, she doesn't respawn, maybe, in-game. I mean, I'm in Battle Lab, so... Uh, I don't know. I never personally defeated her in game, so if if she does respond in game, let me know in the comments. All right, so it is confirmed the fact that the infantry rifle and the tactical shotgun have returned. Well, that's for sure. But that the fact that the dual pistols, it's um, I haven't really had any eliminations with it, but I've got to use it just in the air. So yeah, actually not that bad, if you ask me. I mean, 39 damage, so, so that would take about, um, about, uh, yeah, five or six, yeah, five to six shots, it's like, assuming someone has 100 health and 100 shield, so yeah, it is confirmed, the fact that the dual pistols are back. Alright, so in case you didn't know, um, two things, so one, the bouncers are unvaulted, fortunately, um, I do not have, uh, footage of that, but if you play in game, you will see that they're un unvaulted, it's just, they have a low spawn rate. Um, and here we got the Marksman 6 shooter. This was added about a week ago, I think. It's an exotic. Let's do a review on it. 
So it does 24 damage. Um, a fire rate is five seconds. Magazine is six, and reload time is 2.07 seconds. Let's see how this works out. Not bad, actually, not bad. Let's see if I can can get in the limb with this. Alright, so I just found someone in. Let's see if we can get in a limb with this. Uh, Zex Shooter. Where are you? Come out. We'll come out wherever you are. Ah. Twenty-four. Almost. Nice. How old is this guy? Not terrible. Oh gosh. Nice. So overall, I think that um, the six shooter is uh, decent at mid range, and I, I would, I yeah, I'd say it's decent at mid range. It's not the best at long range, but it it can do. I mean, like it at least it's like 15 damage. So yeah.